One of the most difficult trying times of the Prophet Sallallahu life was the Battle of Khandaq, when 10,000 people, the Allied army, had no other plan except to annihilate the Prophet Sallallahu and his Muslim community in Medina Munawwara. The Prophet Sallallahu consulted his companions, Salman al-Farisi radiallahu anhu, suggest that we should dig a trench to def give defense to our community, in a form of defense to our community and our people of Medina. The Prophet Sallallahu accepts his opinion. For 22 days, nights, the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu dug, struggled to make sure that this strategy that Salman Farsi had suggested was successful in helping them protect their families and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. While they were digging, there was already so much fear anxiety in the lives, in the minds of the Sahaba. And every small challenge that would come, it would add on more anxiety and pain to them. They come across this massive boulder that they are trying to break and they can't. They approach the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and say, Ya Rasulullah, we are trying our best. We've been digging for days. This massive boulder, we can't chip away on this. It's so big. The Prophet says, okay, he grabs a sledgehammer, he descends down in the, in the trench, and this is the Prophet of Allah holding the sledgehammer, says Bismillah, and strikes it. Ada'at lahu nur. All of a sudden, this light sparks in front of the Prophet. The companions are hungry, they're living in the state of fear, the enemies are nearby, life under threat, and the Prophet says, in Kisra. The, the, the palaces of Kisra and Hira, which is in, in Basra, Iraq, they have been conquered. He sees it. He sees them from his eyes. And Jibril salam says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to promise, is promising you that one day your community, the Muslim Ummah, will conquer this beautiful land. The, you could say the most powerful land in the world, powerful empire in the world. And then the Prophet ﷺ takes a sledgehammer, strikes it again. And this time, the Roman Empire in their palaces, the red palaces of the Roman Empire are exposed to the Prophet ﷺ. And the Prophet Sallallahu the Jibri just came to me to tell me with all the difficulties that we're going through, that one day we're going to conquer the Roman Empire, the Muslim community. And this is, again, you have to think about the moment. There is extreme fear, anxiety. There's hardly any support. And these big promises the Prophet ﷺ is predicting. The Prophet ﷺ strikes the third time and he says that Yemen is conquered. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to make us victorious and Islam will spread. And every time we say conquer, we're referring to Islam spreading to these lands, far distant lands. And right now, where is Islam? In Medina, in the surrounding villages of Medina, in any growth of Islam. Anywhere around further than this point is a threat to the Quraysh and the Quraysh is doing anything and everything to suppress the Muslim community. The Muslim community is so suppressed at this moment that they cannot even live safely in Medina Munawwara and they're digging out a trench to save their lives. And the Prophet ﷺ is saying in such suppression, in such form of physical defeat that the Prophet's mentality and God's promise is far beyond what you can imagine. And the Prophet ﷺ informs the companions that today we're suffering, but the suffering will lead to success and great victory. The munafiqeen, the hypocrites who were also witnessing the Prophet ﷺ's companions suffering, they had some negative and nasty things to say. They said, you guys can't even protect yourselves. You guys don't even have food to eat. And your prophet is making these far lofty predictions and prophecies. These munafiqeen started saying that this Allah and His Prophet are making these false, deceptive promises. People are being bought into this idea. And of course, the believers their iman, their faith 
was strengthened. It was solidified. It didn't shake them. But Jibreel as a friend is telling his best friend Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the body, you know when you say physically, literally, the Prophet Sallallahu is in the bottom of the trench. The companions have no support. And in this moment, the best friend reassures his friend Muhammad Rasulullah you and your community will be victors. You and your community will be successful. You and your community right now don't have enough food, don't have enough water, don't have basic needs to protect their community in Islam. But Allah will surely give you victory. And that's what a friend is supposed to do. When a person is in the trenches, you know, in, of life, of difficulties and challenges, a friend is supposed to come at that moment and give them hope, optimism, and realistic optimism. You know, real realistic hope. And Jibreel salam is doing that with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Less than 15 years later, the Muslim community had spread to Yemen, to Iraq, to Sham, and all the lands that the Prophet predicted. And Jibreel salam reassured that these lands and these empires will come in the hands of Muslim community. But that's what a friend is supposed to do. And in the life of a human or a friend who is in the bottom of the trench and they need some upliftment and some hope and optimism.